7 Sport, it's the AFL match of the round with the clash of Melbourne and the West Coast Eagles from the MCG. Last week the Eagles moved to the top of the ladder after winning their first ever match at the cricket ground, although the Tigers certainly made them work hard for the points. Melbourne, however, lost its first match for the year last Sunday against the Swans and tonight must win to again hope to head the table. The top two battle it out under lights in exclusive AFL action on Seven Sports. Yes, a very good evening everyone. The AFL season moves into round seven tonight and from the MCG it's the clash of one and two on the Premiership ladder, Melbourne and the West Coast Eagles. Indeed from the league's point of view it was a very promotable contest. The Demons keen to make a bend for their poor performance last week in Sydney while Eagles coach Mick Malthouse had been outspoken on more than just one issue during the week after the club had won its first match on the MCG only last Friday against Richmond. Both teams had made changes, Grinter and Lovitz in at Melbourne for Jay Viney and the injured Brian Wilson, while Eugle and Mainwaring made way for Miles and Peter Matera for the Eagles. Our commentators tonight are Dennis Committee, Drew Morfitt and Bernie Quinlan, and we pick up the action with the start of the first quarter. The first bounce, the umpires tonight, Mitchell and Harris, and his centre square infringement. The free kick is going Melbourne's way. Lovett to take it, Brett Lovett. He started in the centre square, goes looking for Bennett. Timely fist over the top from Brennan. Bremen couldn't handle it. Scott goes in trying to knock it out. Taken away from him by Brennan. He pulls it back towards the middle. In front, Langdon. Loose ball down towards Melbourne's half-forward line. Love it in the action again. Gets the hand pass away. This is Eichold. A little chip down towards the pocket. Phoebe couldn't control it. And Campbell, interesting, goes out of bounds and so does the ball. Campbell started on the forward line last week and kicked the Demons' first two goals and then very early in the match was switched back into defence and was there when Fell started to take marks at the end of the game. Eichold is curling back and goes through for a goal. The Demons on the board in the opening minute and a quarter. It was a great start by Melbourne and uh, it came from some silly play in the centre. The free kick given away before the first bounce. Brett Lovett taking the free kick. Good play there by big Jimmy Steins. Had a quiet one last week against Sydney. A lovely tap out there and Simon Eichold cleaning up behind the pack. An excellent goal on the left foot. Back in the middle, O'Dwyer with a run at this. Scott did pretty well, but it was fumbled by Lamb. Lamb a second chance. Great hand pass, Malaxos. Kick partly blocked by Viney. Grinter, straight through, Rod Grinter. Back in the first tonight, popular with the Melbourne fans. But what a sensational mark taken by Warsfold in defence. At half-back flank. He goes out wide past centre wing. Hetty is there, chest mark. Melbourne player pushed out of it, Drew. Free kick to Melbourne. Free kick coming back to the Demons to be taken by Graham Yates. Yates who had about ten possessions in the last quarter in Sydney last Sunday. This kick up towards half-forward. O'Dwyer not going for it. Scott a big punch away, 20 metres. Ripped out of the arms of opponents by Lamb. Beautiful hand pass to Lewis. 20 metre hand pass by him. Heady short of half forward. Up to full forward. Chance for the Eagles. Beautiful football. Mark Kasumic. Hard to beat that. If they've got any space to work in the Eagles, they're very hard to stop. And Sumich leads so very well. Well out in front of Earl Sporting. Peter Sumich to level the scores. He'll be kicking from 45 metres. No trouble with distance. Right through the middle. So the score's all tied up here. Sumich kicking that goal from 45 metres out. They work very well when the forward line is open. And Sumich had plenty of room to move in there. Lewis, a good hand pass. Under a lot of pressure there from Grinter. As we see that pass from Hetty into the leading Sumich. It's a goal apiece. There's the time remaining. Bounce favours Scott. Tinge gets it away to Wobst. Who boots it down towards half forward. Ricochet is off Brennan. Taken by Phoebe. Strong tackle by Warsfold. Ball jarred free. Miles on his back. Lovett's got it now. Thinks about the hand pass, then elects the kick down towards the pocket. Bennett leads in the race. Brennan is closing, over the top, ill-directed. Laidley lost his footing. 
does well, gets the kickoff, back towards the middle, going back O'Dwyer, Lamb, surrounded by Demons, and gets the free kick. Good courage here shown by Dwayne Lamb. He was exorcised. Down towards half forward it goes, in front, Lyon, knocks it down to Hughes, hurried kick back towards half forward, and there's Lamb again, plays on quickly, gets it across to Scott, Lewis the Shepherd. Scott towards half forward, who's got the run of it, Melbourne, Spalding lost it initially, this is Todd Viney, swings it out wide, Hetty does well, across on the angle to knock it away from Yates, hard against the boundary, goes to the pocket, and Sumich has taken the mark. Well, you can certainly find the spaces here at the MCG, and perhaps surprising that no West Australian team had won here, either club or state team, until last week, and Sumich already proving a problem for the Melbourne defence. Distance didn't worry him at all from 45 metres earlier. This is 50, but that last kick got home by a long way. Peter Sumich for his second. Not nearly as good a kick. Langdon! And in front of the pack, the mark taken by Jackson. Some Eagles fans behind the goals happy with that. Jackson in the middle, surrounded by three. Langdon had to sit on the pack. That's a good mark to Stephen Jackson. Very strong mark there, Drew, but three Melbourne defenders there and not one of them no able fist. to get a, No fist to it, Dennis, that's right. Both Sumich and Jackson came into the Eagles lineup last year and were prolific goal scorers right from the start and they opened with a goal apiece in the opening couple of minutes. Eagles lead it by a goal, two to one. I think we'll see the Melbourne runner out there after that poor bit of defensive play there by the Melbourne side but a, an excellent mark as we'll see here to Stephen Jackson working his way just uh, nudge Steve O'Dwyer slightly out of the contest and Carl Langdon into the way of the other two Melbourne players Hughes and Gary Lyon The Eagles lead by six points just over 20 minutes remaining in the first term a crowd of about 25,000 now at the MCG uh, Dwyer and Scott to go at it. Uh, Dwyer coming off the longer run, favoured by the bounce, falls at their feet, off the ground by Healy, showing great desperation at the base of all of that is Tingay. Didn't get a free kick, perhaps he should have. And we'll get a ball up. That's Healy. Had a quiet one last week too, Dennis. Only about uh, nine possessions for a rover wasn't enough for the captain. Bounce alongside the centre circle. Rucks go at it again. Uh, Dwyer directs it behind the pack that time. Viney tries to soccer it. Tingay again working hard. Tries to get the hand pass out. And again, it will be bounced. Tingay, the youngest player on the ground at 19. One of two 19-year-olds in this team for Melbourne. Bounce out his side. Slightly. Malax has got a fist on the ball. Bremen, very high towards half forward. Over the top line, fisting that time. But it's going to be a free kick. And it's going Melbourne's way and will be taken by Danny Hughes. Hughes from centre half back. Still night here at the MCG. Beautiful for football. Steins tries to punch on. Love it bowled over. Steins with the hand pass. It's blocked. Back into a congested pack. And the umpire will ball it up. In charge tonight, Chris Mitchell and Shane Harris. Shane Harris on the front end of the centre square for Melbourne I love it doing the ruck work knocks it 10 metres out of the pack it's taken by Bremen comes back to love it his kick inside 50 oh it's fumbled there snapped up by Campbell who goes for goal and misses just to the right hand side five points the difference Eagles two goals Melbourne one goal one Great reflexes there by Tony Campbell. As Brennan comes in short and gets it away. Oh. Well, that's always risky. And this player is very talented. Andrew Obst. Only about 35 metres out from goal. Almost directly in front. A chance to put Melbourne in front. They're going goal for goal in the early going here at the MCG. Nicely done from O'Dwyer to love it. The kick goes towards half forward. Campbell tries to help it on its way. Brennan waiting behind over the head of McKenna. Phoebe does well knocking at Goldwood. Healy back towards Phoebe. 
Down he goes, and he's going to get a free kick. May have been legged or pushed in the back there. But he's got the ball in the left full forward pocket. Mm. There wasn't a lot in it really, Dennis, no. was it? He was on the way down, I think. Not much in that one at all. Stephen Phoebe. It looks pretty good. The lead is now seven points. Melbourne 3-1, the Eagles two goals. And Brett Lovett doing a lot of good work in the centre square. He even had a knockout there at one stage. Has been a prolific kick winner across the halfback line, now playing in the centre. And Melbourne certainly lose nothing with him playing there. But on the forward line, the free kick, as it was shown there, not a lot in that free kick. But uh, Stephen Phoebe making the most of it. It did look a dodgy free kick, and the freeze of 4-1 to one in favour of Melbourne. Matera goes through and will get a free kick. Oh. So Peter Matera playing his second league game. Takes the free from just behind the centre circle. Sumich out number two to one. Spalding gets it down to the front. Hetty. Bremen, great hand pass. Lamb, hand pass up in the air. Well played by Earl Spalding, a West Australian against a paddock full of West Australians. Sees it over the boundary line. Chance for the Eagles here. Jackson and Steins. Jim Steins wins it. Through Newport it goes. Keeps it going Melbourne's way. Off the ground. Picked up by McKenna. Kicks it way wide. That's gone eight rows back. That's something you don't see very often, Dennis. Guy McKenna wasting a kick or a hand pass. Very rare. There's Yates. Doesn't waste too many either. Sends play back towards the outer side wing. Rand's got a fist on it. Tingay, well done. Hit the ground running. Gets the kick away towards midfield. Kemp. Diving hand pass. Worse fold now. Rubbered kick towards the outer side wing. Matera leads in the race, and he's quite content to see it out of bounds. The Demons lead by seven points. Just under 16 minutes remaining in this first term. Steins and Jackson doing the ruck work out there. Jackson takes front position. Steins reaching over the top. Got it as far as Lamb. Back towards Steins. Hurried kick out of the congestion. Bremen's got it. Quick hand pass away. Smothered brilliantly by Newport. Kicks towards half forward. Healy couldn't control it. Worsfold gets the hand pass away. McKenna's kick again. Not a particularly good one. Half charge down. Obst got it to Newport. Phoebe on the boundary line. A skimmer down towards full forward. Thumped away by a diving Brennan. Back it comes to Phoebe. Goes with the left foot. Not a good one. And Scott's got it in the back pocket. Phil Scott. Best on the ground for the Eagles last week. Out of defence, but not a great kick. The mark taken by Steins. Off to Obst. Two kicks to goal from there. He centres. It bounces at centre half forward. Just too far. It went for Healy. Courage shown there by Brennan. Who dived at that ball. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. 40 metres out from goal, Demons back into attack. They lead by seven points. Just over 14 and a half minutes remaining to quarter time. Love it's been in everything. Holding the ball, says the umpire right in front against the Eagles. And a free kick here to Simon Eichold. And now the free kicks are 5-2 in favour of Melbourne. And two of them may result in goals. One already has. This to Eichold. The kick is close to the left goalpost, but offline. Simon Eichold and Michael Brennan waiting for the waving. That's not the crowd, that's the goal umpire. False start. And again. Eventually, boots it in. High kick in from the side. Rance almost a great mark. Obster's got it. He's playing well. Sends it back towards full forward. Over the top. Campbell. It bounces free behind. Off the ground. Is it a goal? Healy, I think it may be. <laughs> Melbourne at 4 2. The Eagles are two goals. Oh, that was great forward pocket roving there by Greg Healy. Nearly a tremendous mark there taken by. Murray Rance at centre half back. The long kick coming in from Obst. I don't think it was touched there, but the ball stopped in the soft conditions. And Greg Healy did well to get his boot to that before the West Coast Eagles could touch it. Mm. 
Melbourne had been a high scoring team up until last week and already they have four goals on the board this week Malaxos back he goes to Rance conceding ground Rance is kicked wide Yates takes it hurriedly onto the boot didn't pick out a player and that's wide run over the boundary line by Laidley some thought it was deliberate it'll be a throw in so Melbourne have made a great start Scott against Steins free kick against Steins Phil Scott no great distance with that kick Langdon streams down from half forward and takes the mark just near the centre circle gets the hand pass away but Lyon was a wake up to it Langdon again great hand pass Lewis on the turn up towards full forward past Sumich it goes Spalding first back there scoop off the ground puts it wide for stretch great play by Spalding and Stretch took advantage. He's kicked round the member's wing. Phoebe with one hand. Phoebe keeps going, but he's kept off it by Kemp. And the ball out of bounds. And young Kemp in his first season of AFL football continues to impress. Actually, Drew, he's got the distinction of being the latest draft pick to be playing senior football this weekend. He was taken at number 117 last November. And a three at the throw-in to Jim Steins. Steins left centre wing. Been busy so far. Interesting duel that one. Kicks towards centre half forward. O'Dwyer's there. Fisted away by Rance. Eichold's on the ball. Gets it out to Newport. Feigns a hand pass. Well played. Fly. Gets the kick away. Down inside 50. Up goes Bennett. Over the top Brennan. Tried the hand pass. Brilliantly smothered there by Obst. It's going to be a free kick to the defender Brennan. But didn't Obst do well? Yes, he's a tremendous contester and a tremendous competitor. A couple of weeks ago, his tackling was magnificent. A real thinker as Miles comes to the members' side. Langdon leads in the race. Lyon behind him. Langdon stumbles. Somebody lost the boot. Langdon. And we'll have a boundary throw in. 4-2 Melbourne. The Eagles are two straight goals. Melbourne have kicked the last three goals in this game. Steins and Scott this time. Steins, substantially. Worsfold's got it though, back to midfield, Eichold drops it, has time to recover, gets the hand pass away, love it, sweeping hand pass out wide, Healy over the top, into the path of Newport, it bounces obligingly, great tackle by Worsfold, Bremen's got it now, good vision, gets it back to Brennan. Gee, there's some great skills in that play, both in attack by Melbourne and defence by the Eagles. Steins, forward of centre wing, close to the boundary line, seen out by McKenna football as you'd expect from the two top teams in the competition throw in Scott beats O'Dwyer comes down to Matera, he's kicked towards the centre Yates is 20 metres in the clear oh the hand pass was a bit too long and high but still a chance here Tingay up towards the goal square Bennett hands to it through for a behind so more than a useful start by the Demons, Eichold, Obst, Phoebe, Healy and Bennett, their goal kickers in the first quarter. For the West Coast Eagles, it was Sumich and Jackson. And so Melbourne leading by 19 points at the first change. We pick up play now at the start of the second quarter. Second quarter about to get underway. A 19 point lead to Melbourne. Melbourne have been winning in the ruck. Scott the only go for the uh, Eagles, but he wins this one down to Turley. Great little hand pass, Malaxos off to Lamb. 13 touches in the first term, Dwayne Lamb. A left footer to an open goal square, big chance, go through. It deserves it, but it's touched right on the line by Hughes. And through for a behind. Well, Danny Hughes really sprinted for that, but what a first quarter Dwayne Lamb has played for the Eagles. I think that would have been a goal, Drew, only the MCG surface is now cutting up a bit and uh, quite soft in the goal square there. Hughes kicks it in. Uh, Dwyer tries to knock it on. Scott sent it the other way. This is Yates, does nicely, when the kick was charged down, hit a teammate, Newport, eventually it's shoveled forward by Hetty, taken by Spaulding, gets it out wide to accommodate Grinter, now he's away, Melbourne have got the numbers two on one here, Ken Laidley oh. throws it down, no he can't, Tingay on the ground, got it across to Viney, superb pass, hits Campbell on the chest, oh Tingay. it was always going to be a tough contract for Laidley, outnumbered, but Tingay. Very artful. Now Campbell, kicking goals, isn't always his strong point. From 45, that's good enough, right through the middle.
Beautiful piece of football by Melbourne. And they stretch their lead, 6-3 to 2-3. He's doing it very well, Melbourne. As you said, Dennis, Tingay on the wing. Lost his footing, but was able to get the hand pass to Todd Viney, and that's a perfect pass to the lead of Tony Campbell, who kicked his first goal. Well, the Eagles had better be pretty careful here. This could yet be a blowout if they don't get back into the game in a hurry. 6-3 to two goals, three. Scott did well there. Malaxos getting the hard one out. McKenna, his kick up towards half forward. Wide for Hetty. Too wide. Oh, Hetty reaches it inside the boundary line. Oh, great tackle by Lovell. Printer it was, and the ball out of play. Melbourne's pressure is forcing the Eagles to go very wide. And uh, by the time they get the ball down to the forward line, it is very congested, and Sumich has no room in to lead into. Dwyer won that one. Obst a little kick along, 15 metres. Heady. Caught by Eichold. Off the ground by Viney. It spills to Lamb. Another possession for Dwayne Lamb, but no gain for the team. Grinter backs into the ball. And it's out of bounds. And a bit of aggro again from Rod Grinter at ground level. He doesn't mind where he is. And the umpire will throw it in. It's a brave man who does that. Lying down, looking up, giving cheek. Throw it out of side. Kemp got a fist on it eventually. This is Wilson, wide of the pack. Peter Wilson pulls it back across his body. It wanders down towards the pocket. Jackson, strong mark. It is paid. Stood his ground well. Stephen Jackson, too far out to score. There's Sumich on the lead. That's ignored. A too lot long. of indecision taking it in by the Eagles tonight. Much too long there by Stephen Jackson. The forward line very congested. It's all Sumich or nothing. Not a good kick. Uh, Dwyer, who played pretty well early last Sunday against the Swans. Out of defence, members side with a kick. Good mark is taken going back there by Newport. Curley arriving a step or two too late. Very nearly 50 metres. Steve Newport, right half back, sends play towards centre wing. Clever use of the body by Eichold, enabled the mark to be taken. No, it wasn't clever. Steins has to surrender the ball. It's a free kick to Scott. Eichold was right on the borderline of being clever. <laughs> Scott back towards half forward. Almost the one-handed a lion. And he's getting a free kick. I didn't see that one. Neither did I. I thought Langdon was in front. And the free's being paid. 12-11 in favour of the Eagles. Gary Lyon kicks 55 to 60 metres over centre. Goes through the pack to Healy. And puts it down. Ball shuffled out. Scott. Clever mark to Viney in front of Wilson. Giving him the fix-up so far. Play on, says the umpire. Tingay, hand pass wide, but short of Lovett. He had to show courage then and did. Well played by Brett Lovett. That's how he won a state Guernsey last year. Off to Tingay. The kick short of Bennett. And it favours his opponent, Brennan. And Brennan out of defence for the Eagles. He's got Malaxos 25 metres up. Back to Brennan. Brennan's kick. Oh, shocker. Straight to Grinter. Grinter goes bang. Melbourne 2 to 1. Comes to the back. Could be 3 to 1. Healy with time. Just outside 50. Lead by Campbell to the pocket. And the ball out of bounds for a throw in. Well, Johnny Warsfold there. That was the third of two options. It couldn't go behind. It did. Melbourne didn't take advantage of it. 6-3 to 2-3. Just over 20 minutes remaining in the first half. And Scott set a very big task tonight. Rucking against Steins and O'Dwyer. This time it's the former. Steins gets it down. Phoebe, under pressure, gets the kick away. May go out of bounds on the fall. Now it bounces just inside the line. Valiant attempt to mark by Bennett. And the ball deflects off his body out of bounds. Throw in. In the pocket then. Really the beauty of playing two ruckmen. They keep pressure on all the time. So often we see shorter players doing the ruck work on the forward line. Not so with Melbourne. Wilson gets the kick away. Campbell sliding in. Eichold working hard in there for Melbourne. Off the ground by McKenna. Lamb who's been everywhere in the Eagles cause tonight. Slides out of bounds this time. And the ball will be thrown in once more. What's the printout on Lamb? Let's find him. 16 possessions so far. 
Steins cleverly to Campbell. Away it comes to Healy. Pulls it back across his body. Will it bounce through? It may have been touched. Will wait. Bennett was shepherding. It's going to be a free kick. He shepherded illegally. Not a popular decision here at the MCG. And it did bounce through for a goal too, that kick from Healy. Brennan's kick only to the 50. Wilson climbs high but can't take the mark. At the front, love it. Away to Healy. Melbourne setting up again. Newport takes the hand pass off Isley. Outside of his foot, what a kick. The Demons thumping them at the moment. 7-3 to 2-3. And welcome back. A great start by Melbourne, but could the Demons keep it going? We're going to go back to the second quarter now at the MCG with about seven minutes remaining in the term. The West Coast Eagles have added one goal. Melbourne has added one point, but the Demons still leading by 25 points. Dwyer and Jackson to help out in ruck this time. Wilson's kicked straight up and down the spot. Thumped out of defence by uh, Melbourne. Viney it was. Newport. His left footer is long. 45, 50 metres to half forward. Punch to the front. Laidley first there. Great tackle by Tinga. He has done some real terrier-like things tonight. Malaxos out of defence. The Eagles need to set up here. Rance goes back. Doesn't go for a really big kick. Langdon leads and marks. Just forward of centre wing. Carl Langdon centres the ball to Hedy. No great gain in distance. And still about two and a half kicks to goal. I think Laidley down injured well behind the play about 100 metres away. Lewis has been pretty quiet. Oh, here's a chance for Matera. His hand pass is blocked. Lamb couldn't be in better hands with an eagle than Dwayne Lamb. And over the top went Matera. Gives away the free kick to Vane. And Melbourne will be out of defence again. Well, Matera had the half chance. He needed to kick and kick quickly. This is Todd Viney out of the back pocket. Members side with a kick. Steins battling with Scott behind an opportunity for Lovett gets the kick away down towards half forward Miles does well trying to get the hand pass away blanketed there by the diving Tengay Rance back comes Tengay though well done young man Tengay from 40 meters it deserves a goal I think it's going to go for him too oh what an inspirational goal Melbourne stretch their lead It was great desperation there by Stephen Tingay. As it's an unfortunate sight for the West Coast Eagles. And I think that's Dean Laidley being carried off after the incident on the Melbourne forward line. And I don't think we'll be seeing any more of him tonight. And Dean Laidley, Eagles defender, being carried off the ground on a stretcher and pain showing on his face. He doesn't look too good, unfortunately, Dean Laidley. Now the incredible thing here about Melbourne is they've kicked eight goals and they've had eight different goal kickers. So if Darren Bennett was going to be the tall timber in the goal square who was perhaps a problem to the West Coast Eagles, well, he's kicked one, but uh, there have been plenty of other goal kickers around him. And that's a good sign, Drew, too, because they're not relying on Darren Bennett to do the goal scoring. It's quite often sometimes to get back and cover a full forward who the side is relying on, but with uh, a number of players being able to kick goals, it's a good sign for Melbourne. Tragedy for Dean Laidley going off the ground there, having his best season by far as an eagle. Really a key man in the team, and off he goes on a stretcher. Play about to restart. It's a 31-point lead now to Melbourne. Eight different goal kickers, and Laidley carried off the ground on a stretcher. Defensive mark taken by Malaxos. He goes very wide to Hetty. Oh, he turned nearly into trouble. Phoebe nearly caught him. Up to Bremen. Bremen's kicked to half forward. Langdon is there. Wilson as well. Lying in front of Langdon. Off to Steins playing the role of a rover this time. Steins pokes it over the top to Newport, who marks, hits the ground running. Steve Newport long to full forward. O'Dwyer's there, gets to the front. Can't take the mark. Off hands. Warsfold back there in the goal square. His hand pass wide to McKenna two former best and fairest winners for the Eagles. Rance back to McKenna. McKenna's kick to centre wing. Lamb gets himself in space again. Takes the mark. Beats Obst. Mightn't get a possession out of this though. Oh, he does beat a man. A second man stretch. Well played by Lamb. Up towards half forward. Big punch away came from uh, Spalding or line and the ball out. 
Let's go down to Michael Roberts now for a report on Dean Laidley. Well, as you know, Dennis, he was taken straight up the race by a stretcher and he's done his left knee. I don't know whether he fell in a pothole or someone fell across his knee. Boundary throw in. Langdon leads in the race. It's out of bounds. Remarkable stats on Dwayne Lamb. 12 kicks, 9 hand passes, 3 marks. Approaching half time. But so far, his effort sees the Eagles trailing and trailing big. Over the top, Hughes, fisting away. Gained about 25 metres or so. Newport held surely, no free kick. Down goes Lamb again, and he gets a free kick. Oh, that, he ducked into that. Definitely oh. ducked into it. The umpire's been impressed by the other 21 possessions. Let's have a look at this. Here he sees a tackle about to come. Goes down. Maybe he did slip there in the loose yeah. surface. I think you're right. Sumich. Yates is battling with him. Eichold comes through towards the boundary line, trying to get it out of bounds. Lewis picks it up. That was a hot one. Yates took it brilliantly. Now he's in trouble. Strong tackle, Lewis. Knocked on by a stretch. Eichold an opportunity. Hard against the boundary line. Through his legs. Newport scrambles at about five metres. Ops brilliantly done. Charged down by Matera. Kemp. Ops again. Brinder's got it now. Brinder gets the kick away towards centre wing. Scott goes in, fisting away. Matera's kick, a high one. It only travels about 15 metres. They come from all directions. Obst couldn't hang on. Grinner gets the kick away. Campbell knocks it on for Melbourne. Leading back in the race, though, is Miles with some time. Measures the hand pass. It's a sweeper. Warsfold on the overlap is Malaxis. He runs through the middle. Oh. He went a fair way, then he gets it away. The mark is taken by Phoebe. What a terrible kick by Steve Malaxis. And now a chance for Melbourne to go forward again through Viney. Two and a quarter minutes left to half time. Lead by Bennett, a mark by Bennett. Yes, they've given the ball away far too much, the West Coast Eagles. And the kicking, which is usually a major part of the game, has been letting, them so, letting themselves down with that area tonight. Darren Bennett well in in front, taking the easy chess mark. Kicking from 45 metres to become the first double goal scorer for the Demons. And he's on the board with two. Well, this is a bit of a shellacking, 9-4 to 3-3. Three, three. Yes, another good quarter by the Demons. Melbourne adding 4-2 to 1-1 in the second term. Campbell, Newport, Tingay and Bennett, their goal kickers. And the sole goal kicker for the Eagles was Carl Langdon. At the main change, Melbourne leading by 38 points.